So in, in general, noise, ex, noise exposure is, is monitored by two ways. One is loud noise over a long time or short bursts of sounds that can be very damaging to the ears. So as an example, think about it, you know, this is not concert world, but think about the worker who's in a factory for eight hours a day around loud noises that can cause, uh, or loud machinery that can cause damage to the ears. Or you go to a, a rifle range and you shoot one shot, but it's very loud, that can also cause damage to the ear. So it's going to be intensity or the long-term loudness levels that take place. In general, if you're a nerd like me, you get a little decimal meter on your uh, iPhone. There's a little app. You can. There's multiple little decimal meters that are available. And I actually pull out a decimal meter when I'm in a concert and look and see, is it less than 85 decibels and it's above that? Then I'll go ahead and put uh, my earplugs in. I think it's good to have the app because the problem with hearing loss is once you've lost it, you can't get it back. So protection is really the most important thing. You know, the other places besides music, we see problems as uh, exercise classes, uh, spin classes, yoga classes, Zumba classes. Uh, many of those can cause, you know, the, the volume of, la of noise is actually, or the music is actually quite loud. And that can also be a place where you can damage your ears. So for the casual concert goer, any noise protection is actually helpful. Mm -hmm. So the little foam plugs work very well. Those are actually very effective at protecting the ear against noise. The um, foam plugs, uh, while they're very effective at protecting the ear against noise, they can also distort the sound a little bit. So what will happen is you'll lose some of the higher tones and not the lower tones, or it can distort it just a bit. And so some people don't like to wear uh, the foam plugs as a result of that. There are some very specific, um, what we call musician earplugs that uh, can be custom made. Some are actually not custom made that you can buy, but what they do is they'll just give uh, a dampening of 15 to 25 decibels of sound. And, and it, it's more like, what I like to say is it's, it's kind of like turning the sound down as opposed to, you know, messing with your equalizer. If you think about it that way, where the foam plugs, uh, while they get provide the best protection, uh, they distort a little bit. The higher end plugs can actually be very good because they'll just lower the sound, but they don't distort quite as well. So in, in general, if you have an app, that I, as I mentioned, anything over 85 decibels is considered too noisy. Um, I'll just give you a perfect example. I went to a concert one time in a theater that held probably 2,000 people. And uh, so I had my ear earplugs in. I'm, like I said, I'm kind of the earplug nerd. So I had my earplugs in and I measured and it was uh, under 85, it was under 90 decibels, right around 85 decibels. So I took one of the earplugs out and I listened to the rest of the concert. So I had one earplug in, one earplug out. And what was interesting is when I walked out of the concert, I took the other earplug out and I could actually then perceive ringing in one of my ears. And what happens with noise is you get what's called a temporary threshold shift. So you get a basically, uh, the hearing drops down a little bit. You can think of it as inflammation of the inner ear. And as a result of that, you get ringing. So I actually had ringing in the ear that I took the earplug out. And had I not had an earplug in just one ear, I would probably would have never noticed that. So my point is, many of us, I think, are exposed to loud noises and we're not even aware because if it happens in both ears, the brain just kind of ignores it unless it's really loud. So my recommendation is anytime it's over 85 decibels, you probably want to make sure that you're protecting your ears with some sort of earplugs or something. I think you might be a songwriter. But don't worry, I won't tell anybody. But I'm not very good at keeping secrets. 